recently one or two of my video gone viral and uh, it's, it's about ashram for free stay you know where you can travel and stay free in ashram but many females contacted me like asking for ashram you know where they can live for life long then i created life long video you know like like that especially then i created a specially uh, ashrams list for female you know ashram for especially for female there i got request like uh, they want like uh, to create a video specially ashram for males where males can stay see in olden days ashram used to be a spiritual center where you can learn you know more about spirituality progress spiritually but they used to offer these ashrams for free because funding is done by king you know king and all now is government they are like many religions and they can't fund for everything they have limited money for progress of the country and all so nowadays like ashrams run by donations given by people rich people or something you know they run a ashram like so for looking is like a some monk is running ashram but behind the scene there are rich people like political parties behind there there are uh, like big businessmen same way so these ashrams offer free stay but they are also looking for some people who can volunteer in the, their ashram so if you, if everyone goes to the ashram and stay for free how ashram will run is a common sense you know if i come to your house and stay uh, doing nothing just eat food and sleep you know like one two days is okay one week one month let later you will think uh, why should you uh, you know allow me to stay or something same way you know even if your son wife or someone wife like a daughter or someone people think like they have to run their home the same way is ashram so if you stay in ashram either they will um, you know expect uh, donations from you otherwise they may like uh, want you to volunteer there in a different different areas otherwise uh, like share your skills or something they want from you like directly they will not tell because it's a ashram and uh, it's not a business center but still they have to manage ashrams in some way by selling some product selling some items so there there are shops or something you know like they are like, like they offer different puja yoga like that this and all you know courses like sadguru offer like uh, hatha yoga and like this there are may, many like sri sri ravi shankar and all there are many ashrams they offer some kind of like enlightenment package or something they they sell because they want already they opened the ashram somehow they have to manage it otherwise they like after after that guru ashram will close down because there is no funds there is no like a member will shift you know they will make their own sect and like osho after death of osho there is like not a proper like ashram like if like not a authentic osho ashram or something you know like there are many uh, like uh, mahesh yogi mahesh yogi also if you go to rishikesh mahesh yogi ashram is like deserted like ashram finished there is no mahesh yogi or something like it's like that in when mahesh yogi was alive there is ashram like he was very famous even like a rock band like music band like beatles also came to their ashram and they got promoted this this ashram even you don't know like you will see this sadguru is very big now but even ashram bapu ji you know ashram bapu was very famous this ashram was very big everywhere in india and even outside of india there was ashrams he got one allegation like like now he is in jail you know every ashram is finished like hardly there are maybe ashrams you know running what i mean to say is if you if you are planning and if you are a male and if you are planning to stay in a ashram one ashram permanently there is nothing is permanent even i am not permanent you are not permanent even ashram is not permanent so you have to create your own backup plan either you work and if you want to grow spiritually go to specific ashram nearby ashram or you go to otherwise stay nearby the ashram and work from there for survival you need some backup for survival if something goes wrong from this ashram 
and you have to if you are a male you can join any ashram you just go stay there for one or two days you will understand what kind of ashram is there if you don't like get out of the ashram surrendering is like a whole thing you know if you surrender nowadays if you surrender to the specific guru for life long you have to you need some back back up plan also surrender is okay if you surrender completely in olden days they like even gurus used to some gurus never had a ashram they used to go in everywhere you know like for more than 3 days they don't stay in one place what about ashram they will not open ashram only they are like like naga babu now nowadays there are naga babas and this uh, agori and all right they don't stay in most of them don't stay in one place so that kind of guru used to be there you know like now there are no such guru you know very rarely there are there may be some but this big gurus in very famous guru 5 minutes video who make and uh, open a very huge ashram you know luxury ashram proper set up it looks like perfect nothing is perfect you know like if they have, to make a big they need some political support once politician go opposite of them the opposition you know like if they in some other party comes in uh, power then they will destroy in some way you know? like if even if you keep on watching like right? baba ram dev sadguru you know like if time changes everything change you know like <laughs> so that's why i'm telling you you just uh, make a backup plan if you want to grow spiritually you visit different different ashram you learn whatever you like but you have to have one backup plan if you have experience with ashrams please comment below and help other people you know like who want to stay for life long and all let them understand what it is and share your comment below subscribe this channel and connected get connected with me thanks for watching namaste